Hey guys, HDV here, and welcome back to a brand new video going over Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Today, we're talking about the new distributions for a shiny Celebi and Zarude. The information about how to obtain these Pokemon in Japan has come out, but it kind of just paves the way on how to get them everywhere else in the world as well. So we're going to be talking about that today. So if you're excited for the video, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try to hit 400 likes. Make sure to leave a comment as well. Are you a fan of Zarude or are you not really too into it right now? It's a little bit like Marmite at the moment. You either hate it or you love it. So let me know what you guys think about the new mythical Pokemon and subscribe as well if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this year channel. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, Cerebi tweeted this out this morning. I'll link their Twitter page in the description down below, as always. But basically said, Cerebi update. Pre-booking distributions for Pokemon the Movie Coco have been announced. Shiny Celebi and Zarude, or Zarude, I don't even know, uh, to be given. So... Uh, obviously, we always knew that Zarude was obviously going to be available in Pokemon Sword and Shield at some point, but Shiny Celebi, we didn't really know too much about. Uh, when I did my breakdown of the of the new trailer for the upcoming movie, which is obviously coming out in July, I did say uh, that it was most likely going to get a Shiny Celebi as well, um, just because... The fact that it's shiny, you know, if it was a normal Celebi, probably we wouldn't have got anything. But shiny Celebi, you know, it's really rare. I think the only way to get it before this event was in the Pokemon Crystal 3DS uh, virtual console thing. You had to, like, beat the game and then you went to uh, the, the shrine and then you could basically soft, re uh, soft reset for Celebi. But it was like a 1 in 8,000 chance. So it wasn't great. So this is a much easier way to do it if you do want to get yourselves a shiny Celebi. Um, obviously not... Not as difficult as the 1 in 8,000. But um, people are obviously replying saying, same old boring giveaway code, mythicals just suck, man. Uh, please tell me we'll get a chance outside of Japan. We will, just don't have those details yet. Both of them really hate bugs. That's very true. Both four times weak to it. Uh, this is going to be Japan only, isn't it? Important distributions very rarely are Japan only. So basically, um, yeah, their, their distributions, unfortunately, are through um, through code. So basically, if you go and buy in Japan, if you pre-book the tickets, uh, you basically get the codes um, for Zarude and Celebi. So a little bit unfortunate. They, they are um, going to be distributions in Japan. By the way, if you pre-book the tickets in Japan, uh, they're pretty much available anywhere like you, you can get the download codes anywhere obviously there will be Japanese Pokemon but they're going to be legit so um, you can either do it really really quickly and, and get it that way or you can just wait for it in the UK and, and Europe and the US and everything like that but um, obviously the, the, the thing is they are probably just going to be distributions everywhere else in the world as well uh, whether they're going to just be a mystery gift code or you have to go and pick them up at your local game shop or something like that which does suck because mythical Pokemon have kind of lost their um importance really like you just get them for free like obviously it's really cool to have those kind of pokemon but it hasn't really been some sort of event where you could get a myth like a mythical pokemon apart from just getting it through a code like the last one was meltan where obviously you had to get it in pokemon go and evolve it in pokemon go and stuff like that so that was pretty cool because as well as that like in the old games you used to be able to get like a ticket and you go to a new island for like mew or deoxys or whatever and then be able to fight it and catch it there and soft reset for it but now it's literally just get it for free from a dude in the local pokemon so it does kind of suck but obviously from zarude that we already know about it, we know it's a grass dark type pokemon uh it's got the ability um Dang, I cannot remember his ability. It's not a very good one, though. Um, but, yeah, this is kind of the only information we know about it on the website. Uh, it's got the Leaf God ability. There we go. It was right there on the screen. I'm an idiot. Um, but, yeah, Dark Grass type Pokemon. We know it's obviously coming out in uh, the new Pokemon, the movie Coco, in July. Um, but uh, that's all we really know about it. We don't really know any of the moves it really gets. Uh, we know, like, one or two. Uh, and we don't obviously know about his stats or anything. Um, all we know about it is at level 60, it, it could potentially have 212 HP. So, um, And then this is just kind of like some backstory. This isn't really anything to do with it in-game. It does ha say that it's got like healing properties and stuff. But I don't know if that's going to be legit like moves and stuff like Synthesis or whatever. Or Grass Whistle. Uh, well, not Grass Whistle. But like Synthesis, Recover, anything like that in-game. Or if it's just kind of some backstory about it. And then it says it also lives in packs as well. But the pack in the movie is probably just him and like the dude and stuff. Uh, and obviously, like I was talking about, Shiny Celebi, only available through uh, the Pokemon Crystal Virtual Console uh, soft resetting situation. But anyway, let's go on to Cerebi. Uh, it does say, it has been confirmed that if uh, you pre-book tickets for the movie Coco in Japan, starting April the 17th, you'll receive two serial codes to redeem in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. The first code will give you a level 60 shiny Celebi and will run from April the 17th, 2020 to September the 30th, 2020. 
Um, and then the second code will give you a level 60 Zarud and will run from June 15th, 2020 to September the 30th, 2020. So both of these events ending on the 30th of September this year. However, though, Zarud actually coming out a month after Celebi. Um, so the reason behind that is probably the fact that Zarud just, uh, does tie in with the Isle of Armour in some way. Because why would they not both be available in April? Are they clear? Like, obviously, the Isle of Armour is coming out in June. We know that. The fact that Zarud, uh, it, well, Zarud is coming out in June 15th, does that tie in with the Isle of Armour? We know that the Isle of Armour is coming out by June the 29th, but it could be any time in June, really. Um, so, yeah, the fact that Zarud's coming out a month after Celebi kind of makes me feel like it is going to tie in with the DLC. Does that mean that you can only get the distribution of Zarud if you have the Isle of Armour? Or is it going to be some sort of code? We don't really know. It just it most likely is just going to be some, some random code. Um, but anyway... Uh, Joe also tweeted this out again. I'll link this in the description down below uh, It says this means that we should get the Isle of Armour DLC by June the 15th at the absolute latest so basically uh, Joe himself is saying that because the Zarud is coming out uh, from June the 15th to September the 30th We should be getting Isle of Armour by June the 15th. That is what he is uh, He is saying right there. It says I mean they could just patch the roots alone in but start uh, starting in June and being alone when we know the DLC is out in June just seems unlikely to me uh, if someone buys us a ticket in Japan and gives us the code, can we renew it or is it there a catch? No, you should be able to. So yeah, you can actually get Zarud and Celebi before like anyone else in like Europe or the US or anything. If you if you're able to get a code for the this Japanese event, then you will be able to get Zarud and Shiny Celebi. Uh, and then it says probably and uh, this person says probably an available after the presentation e3 uh, i've had the same thought so yeah it might be like something happens at e3 and then the isle of armor might be available after that or something like that uh, but that is what most people are uh, saying about that so yeah th i don't know i'm not really sure what to think about obviously the distribution through japan is just for booking the tickets early i mean that was kind of self-explanatory we've had that quite a few times recently um where if you go to get if you go to the movies you do get some sort of special pokemon so interesting with that but what are your thoughts about this whole uh giveaway are, are you happy that it's like super easy to get zarudi like this uh and or zarud or whatever and shiny celebi or are you a little bit annoyed um but obviously the main thing to take away from it as well as the distribution is that the fact that we probably are going to be getting the armor isle of armor dlc by the june the 15th so let me know what you guys think about that that is going to be everything for today's video though guys i really hope you did enjoy if you did drop a like down below make sure to leave a comment uh and uh, yeah, subscribe as well if you're brand new. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.